Welcome back to another video brought to you by St. Robert's Retro Rams Team 4001. In this video, we will be testing our robot using LabVIEW and the driver station. Alright, so now we've gotten past the point of using our basic chassis, this one, and we will be using a more complicated robot that we that St. Robert Retro Rams used for the robotics competition at St. Louis. Now, once again, your compact Rio router, switchboard, and you have now more rotors, more motors. Now, these two wheels in front allow you to shoot balls, while this roller at the back picks balls up from the ground. This metal rod is attached to motor, P it's attached to a motor, PWM6, the one you just programmed. And when you press a button, it goes up or down to lower or raise a bridge. Now, it follows a drivetrain, yep, an arcane drivetrain, and it has an override switch right here, right there, yep, which allows, which overrides everything, making the ball shoot once it presses that button. That is pretty much it for our robot. Now, in one sec, we will learn how to sh how to operate a program from our computer through LabVIEW. And now, first you have to turn on your robot and connect it to your computer. And while it's doing that, we will load our driver station. Start, and then you just type in your driver station here and you select it. FRC driver station. Yes. And now here is your driver station. If you haven't configured it already, configure it so that this, your team name shows up here. Like here. And then you select all the other things. And here is your dashboard which set which receives information from your robot. From our, with ours, we have a camera, so we can see something here. But it's not necessary. Now, what you want to do is that when you see communications being green, you want to go to LabVIEW, Robot Main, and you want to click this arrow. This arrow deploys your entire project to your robot so that it'll do what you want it to do. Save, yep, and OK. It won't let you do anything if you don't press OK, so you have to press OK. Now, while it's deploying, let's look at some stuff. Diagnostics. This tells you what devices are connected, such as Joystick 1 and Joystick 2. Now, while it's deploying, we will also look at I.O. Here are a bunch of buttons. These buttons allow you to control the robot as well as your joysticks. We will learn how to program these later. But essentially, that is it. Once this robot code turns green, press enable and you can start running autonomous mode. If you want to run teleoperated, you select teleoperated. In practice, it's just a mock simulation of the game. 15 minutes autonomous followed by Teleop mode. Yes, teleop. Now, I'll be back as soon as this finishes deploying. Yep, so here is joystick 2. Yes. And now we will press enable. And watch as PWM6 motor, which is this bar, move. It can move more, but the table's in the way, so. Yes. And that is essentially it. Once you're done, remember to disable your code so that it's safe for you and others. We hope you enjoyed this video, and take care.